Hey everyone, it's been a hot minute, uh, weeks, I guess, since we've done a standalone video. I'm back. How's it going? Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz here from Nintendo Prime. Uh, it kind of sucks that I'm coming back with this sort of topic because it's not something that I often want to talk about. Uh, there's a lot of positives going out there in the world of Nintendo. Uh, we have, what, four, like the last four exclusive games that released on Nintendo Switch are all in the high 80s and giving Switch the best exclusive lineup of games this year and maybe even topping off the best exclusive library of this entire generation if you consider Switch part of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One generation. I know there's debates. Maybe it's not part of that. Maybe it's part of PlayStation 5, etc. I'm not here to, to, to really determine that, but it's interesting uh, when you look at all the positivity out there. The Switch Lite just came out and people seem to be pretty excited about it, but one thing about the Switch Lite uh, came about that has people a little concerned because Joy-Con drift has been an issue for quite some time uh, in all of the Joy-Cons that have basically ever released. I personally have experienced Joy-Con drift in three different Joy-Cons, which is basically where you don't touch the stick and the character moves or the camera moves or whatever. Basically, the controllers act like you're pushing the stick in a certain direction that you're not, and that is Joy-Con drift. It's just unresponsive controls or overly responsive overly sensitive how whatever you want to consider them and we discovered thanks to people like swan wave who did breakdowns of the joysticks why this is happening it has something to do with the graphite pads it rubs on being uh extremely susceptible to damage and wear and tear uh leading to grooves and once the grooves occur things aren't accurate anymore inside the actual control stick and we had hoped of course, that this would be fixed with the Switch revision, you know, the one that comes in the red box with the 7 plus hour battery life, and then that came out and it turned out, no, those Joy-Cons aren't fixed either. Now, there is new sets of Joy-Cons coming out here in October, and maybe those sets will be fixed, but it doesn't really look that likely because the Switch Lite is now out in the wild, and it turns out that the exact same mechanism of the joysticks are also in the Switch Lite. Now, we couldn't confirm that it would necessarily lead to Joy-Con drift at the time, or controller drift, because I guess these aren't Joy-Cons. Uh, we couldn't really confirm that it would lead to this, uh, because obviously, just because it's the same design, doesn't mean it'll have the same flaw, because they could just use a different type of metal, a different type of material that's much more durable and less susceptible to getting a groove in it and creating drift. That was the hope, that was the... The, the, the great hope out there is that, yeah, just because it's the same design doesn't mean it has the same flaw. Well, today, just look at this. Now, as you can see, the right joystick on this particular person's uh, you know, Switch Lite is showing drifting issues. And there have been a couple, not a lot, but a couple media members out there, uh, such as the, you know, Zach over at Switch Force, that have noted that they've kind of experienced some drift at times as well. Uh, it does not seem to be super widespread just yet, but the system just came out. And if you know anything about Joy-Con drift, you, when you buy a brand new Switch, the Joy-Con drift problem doesn't happen right away. It just happens over the course of several weeks or months. It kind of depends on how long you're playing it for, how many hours you're logging in, etc. It's just wear and tear, right? It just happens over time. So you don't expect to hear a lot of stories about people's Switch lights having drifting right now. But the fact that there's even one, one right now, where we are just like three days out from when the system launched, and there's even one out there showing this problem kind of gives us pause to think this could happen to all of them again it's something we're not going to know for sure for you know many months you know maybe even a year down the road before we start to see several systems with drifting issues but uh, it definitely appears that the joystick has the exact same issue that the current ones do inside the normal joy cons so 
This is just obviously a big problem, and it sucks that Nintendo themselves has sort of failed to address it. Now, we do know that obviously Nintendo of America internally has recognized that Joy-Con Drift is an issue and they will fix it for free for anyone. And maybe that extends the Switch Lite as well. We don't know. Uh, but the only reason we even know that the, internally they have recognized it's a problem at Nintendo of America only, by the way, this isn't covered in any other place. No one else gets free repairs on this, especially out of warranty. The only reason we even know that Nintendo has recognized it as a problem is because... <laughs> Uh, an internal email leaked. Nintendo has not yet, not even once, said one thing publicly acknowledging that Joy-Con Draft is an issue, even though they have acknowledged it internally. That's a problem. And that's a huge problem when a new product is coming out that uses the exact same joysticks. So, obviously, this is a big pause for concern. If you were considering buying a Switch Lite, I can understand why this might make you be like, ooh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. Obviously, uh, if you don't mind doing repairs yourself, uh, you could replace the joystick. I'm sure it's not that difficult to replace because it's not super difficult to replace inside a Joy-Con either. Uh, obviously, we talked in the past about electrical contact cleaner is a good way to actually extend the life of your joystick because it kind of creates a, a coating over uh, the mechanism and lets it last a little longer without issue. But again, all of that's extracurricular stuff that we as consumers shouldn't have to do. And obviously this person that's having Drift right now can send it into Nintendo. It's under warranty. It'll be fixed. But it, this is obviously a concerning thing. And it sucks that although Nintendo of America has recognized it internally, Nintendo has not recognized it publicly. And on top of that, that they use the same design in the Switch Lite. Um, I, it makes you wonder, you know, even though Nintendo's recognized it internally, when did they actually realize it was a problem? Uh, it, was it only recently? And if it's only recently, well, they obviously already had Switch Lights in production. So is it possible that the Switch Lights we get this year are going to have issues, but the Switch Lights we get, you know, starting next year will be different because there'll be different production runs and they will have fixed the problem? I don't know. I mean, we're still waiting for it to get fixed in newer Joy-Cons, let alone in, like, an actual new device. So... Uh, this is just extremely disappointing, uh, and it, it brings negativity at a time when Nintendo has a lot going for them. I mean, the Switch Lite's only $200. That's going to be a very appealing price point, and it has a lot of redeeming qualities to that. I understand there's no TV output, and that's a, a shame for some, but for those who just don't care or looking to replace their 3DS and have all those console quality games with them and don't care about the TV, it's, it's actually pretty good, and it's solid. It's got great build quality. Some people actually like holding it better than uh, the normal Switch because there's no Joy-Con wobble or anything, and uh, it comes with a D-pad. And that's a big plus for some people. So uh, I honestly think the Switch Lite has a lot going for it. And I think Nintendo has a lot going for them. You know, I, I just talked about the last four major releases all being among the best rated games of this year. They're not done yet. They have Luigi's Mansion 3 coming out next month. They have Pokemon Sword and Shield coming out the month after that. And we can get into uh, you know the, the Ring Fit Adventure and, and, and that experimental workout kind of thing they're doing in December. We could talk about Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Neither of those that I think are going to be as high, highly regarded as a Luigi's Mansion 3 or a Pokemon or, you know, the more recently Link's Awakening release. But still, uh, that's a, a ton of high-quality products in a short time span. And Nintendo's going to have a ton of momentum going into the holidays because Nintendo has dominated sales worldwide this year because PlayStation 4 and Xbox are kind of going like this as everyone kind of anticipates the next generation being announced and releasing next year. And obviously, Google Stadia, you know, has, like, if you buy, like, the pre-access pack or... Whatever it is, a starter pack? I can't even remember what it's called. It's really expensive. Like 130 bucks. <coughs> I don't know. It's like 130 bucks and comes with a controller, I think, and all that. And, and you can like gift like three months to somebody of the pro membership. I don't know. That comes out in like November. But I, I'm personally um, sorry to have my comeback video be a bit of negativity uh, surrounding Nintendo. And I, I sincerely hope that uh, they address this at some point. I understand from a marketing perspective, there's no way in hell Nintendo's going to recognize this now. Uh, they're heading into the holidays. They, they don't want to be talking publicly and making a big hullabaloo about this. Uh, but I sincerely hope that they address it. I sincerely hope they announce publicly they will fix all of them for free forever for you know the lifetime of the platform until they stop producing them. Um, I, I really hope that uh, Nintendo does the right thing here, uh, which they have kind of done in, in uh, you know North America without publicly announcing that they've done it. 
because we got a leaked email and then obviously people proving by taking advantage of the fact that that email said they would fix it uh and getting it fixed out of warranty so i i i'm just i'm sorry guys <laughs> to, to be such kind of a downer today but it's all right i'm just glad to be back uh thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, if you're looking for an update video by the way on uh, my health situation all that uh stay tuned i think i might have one coming out later today since there's no live stream uh but uh yeah you guys, you guys just stay tuned for that and i'll catch all of you in the next video